Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, I will say before I get started, I am sick. I've been sick for the last like two or three days. So that's why you guys didn't see any uploads yesterday. But we're going to see how much we can get done today for the Liga Noche players because obviously uh, your boy's super happy about them. I actually might start playing more on my main accounts because of them being released. But for today, we have the new SBC player from Familicão. It's the player that is called Banza. Banza. So six foot two, high low work rates, right footed, four star skills, four star weak foot. So right off the bat, he already starts off uh, with all the base stuff that's very nice to work with, obviously. Uh, player traits, he has the injury prone trait. You know, the vibes with that should not even be a thing in the game, but uh, base card stats for pace is set up perfectly for an engine chemistry style because when we give him the engine, we boost the acceleration and sprint speed by a plus five to a 93 for both, which is really good to work with the high low work rates at a 94 for attacking positioning. His finishing is also at a 92 with an 86 for shot power, 85 for long shots. Just good shooting stats all around, to be honest. Like you still need to work high percentage strikes as much as possible. But what I'm hoping for is that his dribbling is actually decent in game because he does look like uh, a physical type striker. Let's see if this is on the right monitor. Oh, it's on the right monitor. Um, yeah, so he does look like a physical type striker because he is six foot two with a high and average plus body type, right? So we do have to take a look at that in game. Uh, the engine chemistry style will be increasing balance, agility, and dribbling as much as possible. I do feel like I'll still notice the dribbling of the card in game for sure, but uh, we'll see. Uh, maybe he surprises me and it honestly doesn't matter, right? Like, because with Murata, Murata is a physical type striker as well, but I can actually use Murata in this game. Um, with the engine chemistry style because he actually has some pretty decent base characteristics, right? Uh, obviously not meta, but you can work with him. Uh, and then last but not least, this card is actually pretty good in the air as well. 97 heading accuracy with 92 jumping. So it's actually very helpful for someone who's pretty tall like he is uh, with 89 for strength and then 84 aggression. So uh, we just put a team together here. I need to buy a center back for the review accounts because I have yet to do that. But for the video today, we are going to be doing this, right? So we're going to switch David Neres off to that left side. Nkunku in the middle. Shua Mane will put over here. By the way, if my nose is shiny, it's because Vapor Rub is my best friend today, okay? Uh, and Nkunku here. Banzo will play up top in the striker position on stay central, come back and defense with these for tactics. And uh, yeah, we'll try him out. Hopefully he's a beast. This guy's a pretty cool team, actually. He actually uses the Zaniolo card. That's actually dope. I mess with that. Touch, shoot immediately. It was a good strike, to be honest. That was actually a really, really good strike. The run initial, uh, the initial run was really good as well. I might actually be able to get across here with him. Yeah. I, I need to try those because he's really tall and really good at heading, so. Okay, so he immediately already starts that run. High, low work rates being super noticeable so far. Let's do this. First time pass. We'll dribble. Ooh, almost. The left stick touches wasn't actually that bad right there with him. Didn't mind it. Definitely a physical type striker, though. You can definitely feel it with his dribbling. Onside? Oh, wow. He's onside there. Nice. We'll take that then. That was so weird. That was like an awkward goal to score. I looked at my recording. I was like, oh, no, I'm too sick. I, I, I didn't even know if I was recording or not. <laughs> I want to pass it off here because with forward runs and high low work rates i expect him to make a run i'm gonna go here a little ball roll scoop i like those adjustments to be honest like he sticks to that stay central instruction which is dope physical type striker so if you have someone who's a little bit more agile next to him it definitely works out but it stays in the middle again i don't i don't want him to overcommit that side space to be honest Ball roll, ball roll, oh. Ball roll, ball roll, pass off. Oh, one ball roll should have been enough. One ball roll and then a shield would have been fine. Um, For a physical type striker, he's not too bad so far. He's not too bad. Yeah, that's the run I expect him to make. Maybe I should have done a lob pass there instead of a through pass. A through pass is just better because it's more controlled, right? But a lob pass avoids those defenders for those situations. Oh, 
Oh, no, imagine. You can't really shoot those right away because the angle that you have to work for is the near post one. If you don't work the near post, it's just going to be super inconsistent. Nice. Good play right there. That was sick. I like that. Two high low work rated players. It's a little bit different for this four or two. <clears throat> Excuse me. But uh, worked out well there. The pass and goal movement was sick there. That's how you have to use these types of guys, right? Like if you're going to unlock someone like this, it has to be in a two striker formation. You can use them as a lone striker, but it's always better to have someone that can dribble a little bit more quicker in those areas. Oh, I, <laughs> you know, what's funny is like base mechanics wise, like obviously that's just FIFA being weird, but if he doesn't have like the height that he has and the balance stats that he has, it, you probably avoid that sometimes, right? Not bad. Definitely could have shot that there. Some people get really upset when I don't shoot right away in those situations. I like to test out the dribbling for those last second touches when there's defenders putting pressure on to see how well he does i'm gonna be honest with you man his left stick touches for a physical type striker is not that bad i'm like okay with it to be honest like in, the, in that situation you could see that he was actually taking really good sharp ones see nice little last second touches there oh hello nice oh from behind eh I will say that his attacking AI is not crazy. It's definitely not crazy. Like, there's certain spaces that you can see right there that he will not utilize. So it's definitely not, like, super meta. I wish he could actually get those ones, like, over the defender. That'd be crazy. Okay, so that was a near post strike. More power into it, probably. Let me just do a little bit of a cross here. Nothing, okay. Wish there was more aggressiveness there to get that. There we go. Nice job. We'll take that. I expect those angled runs once uh, Ben Yedder starts to go upwards there. Like, I need Banza to do that really quickly there. Oh, he gets it from behind. No way. If I got the roulette off there, I probably would have been able to get a nice little weak foot strike or something. That was a little bit weird. I tried to get that to the uh, other player there, but didn't respond there. Legrand switched to the other side. Let's see if we can get a header here with him. A little small cross. I mean, A, his run was really good there. I just maybe put too much power on it. Maybe his attacking AI is more oriented around like him winning the ball in the air for like headers. To be fair, he did make that run, but then he did stop to turn. It's just that because he's a physical type striker, he's not as like aggressive or fast at doing it. Oh yeah, that should be a foul for sure. Sometimes for the meta of the game though, guys, it is because the player is not like crazy meta for him to um, win that. The game counts it as like a body to body, but it should definitely be a penalty for sure. His animation is like kind of slow to like win the ball in the air. It's really strange. Oh, the pass was really good. Varon just like, Varon's Varon, you know, he just snatches it out of the air. No, I didn't really tell him stop. It's really funny, man. Like, when he's close to defenders, his left stick dribbling is not that bad. But, like, generally speaking, you obviously feel the uh, high and average body type and whatnot. I noticed that his attacking AI is come close, start running, come close, start running. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like Ronaldo attacking AI. But I wouldn't compare it to Ronaldo. Like, Ronaldo's attacking AI is obviously better. But um, it's like same characteristics of coming close, pushing forward. Because I have, like, a really forced tactic to make him like do those runs consistently 
But he'll still come like close-ish to me. You see how he's close to me right now? See what I'm saying? And then he pushes forward. Yeah. When the goalie is like that close to you, you either have to go far post or you do have you have to do like a shot cancel to get it past him there. It's a force the animation because the goalie's way too close to you. Yeah, that area is a good area to kind of test out the heading. The heading's not that special with him, guys, because his animations to do it are really slow. No! We get a corner, though. Oh, we don't get a corner. <laughs> um, yeah, the card's not that special, guys. It's kind of like, you know uh, Murata's card? Murata's card is better for a physical type striker. Like, Murata actually surprised me. I actually liked his um, touch. I don't even know what just happened right there. And, and almost scored that. Um, yeah, with Murata, I liked his attacking AI more. Uh, I liked the way that he moved across the pitch, the way that he kind of dribbled with the ball at his feet, with the body type and stuff. Like, I definitely prefer him as a physical type striker if I'm going to make the comparison. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Banza card. So in regards to how he performs in-game, guys, the engine chemistry style is going to make the most sense to boost his pace, dribbling, and passing as much as possible while working with good shooting stats and good physicality. Now, with a few things that you notice with this card, guys, is obviously the dribbling, right? So because he is a six foot two player, high and average plus body type with 80 composure, 79 for balance, even on an engine chemistry style, you notice that base characteristic. Uh, there are moments when he's up against defenders where he does do sharp dribbles but with those sharp dribbles comes emphasis right and you notice it mostly in the composure being at an 80 when it comes to attackers like composure this year i feel like is a really really big deal for a lot of cards like it's one of the reasons why um you guys know that i'm really really into korea right the uh angel korea card but with Correa, he has 76 composure with the dribbling stats that, you, that he has, right? That's why in the first week or two, when I was uh, using him in the Road to Glory account, I was like, this is a card I'd probably have to replace in the future. Still haven't because there's a lot of cards that don't dribble that well, to be honest, uh, or move as well as Correa, right? Attacking AI-wise and whatnot. But it's just something that you do notice on the card when you're dribbling with them, right? So it's the same case with Bonza. His attacking AI is very similar to Ronaldo, kind of like coming close and pushing forward, right? Uh, I noticed that on a lot of occasions with him. I don't think his attacking AI is that special. For me personally, um, for a physical type striker, I prefer to use the Murata card over someone like Bonza, right? Murata was interesting because he actually surprised me, performed better than I thought he would, to be honest. Uh, with this card on an engine chemistry style, everything just worked out really, really nicely. Maybe it's a speed dribbler trait or something. I don't know, man. I don't know if these like dribbling traits mess with the CPU. I feel like it kind of does for base characteristics. Maybe you guys let me know. But um, yeah, on Murata, like I said, on an engine chemistry style, I guess because his body type is like unique and his medium medium actually worked really well at striker. Like honestly, he does he does move across the pitch really, really well. Like I, I was surprised to be honest as a secondary striker because that is how you have to mostly use these types of guys in the game this year uh, with Bonza. I don't think it's that special with his high low work rates to be honest with you but uh 66k for a concept card is okay obviously um like i said though he's not that special even with him being from the liga noj guys it's probably not a card that i would even unlock myself there's not really a lot of sentimental value when it comes to him personally uh but the squad foundation cards like the gameplay objectives there's a lot of very very good ones so not an sbc that i would do personally but um if you want to use the Liga Noche team and you want to get like a French striker through an SBC and you want to use him for fun, be my guest. But uh, nothing crazy about this card, guys. Nothing crazy. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Let's see if I can get the gameplay objective cards, guys, because I'm out of, so out of sorts, you know. So peace out, my dudes. Love you guys.